nice to meet you. I haven't yeah, got a nice chance to meet, to meet you. you. Um, just a quick little background on me. So I've actually started working here about six months ago. I'm the STEM coordinator here. So I've just been helping out in any way I can and helping all our programs move to a virtual platform. So that's a little background on me, but I'm really excited to take the time to get to know more about you and you know what you're up to today and your past relationship with the CIWB. So um, I understand that you have a long connection with the with us and you started it in high school. So can you tell me a bit about um, your involvement with the ArtWorks program? Yeah, sure. So when I was actually a senior in high school, I joined the ArtWorks program very late. Okay. I wasn't really into the arts until my last year. I started taking photography classes with uh, Miss oh. Trionis. Okay. And she actually recommended that I join the ArtWorks program okay. because at the time I wanted to pursue photography as a career. Gotcha. So oh. I did that route and I actually interned with a man named Alan Truesman, who okay. if anyone is lucky enough to get him. Wow, okay. <laughs> so he was great. He taught me a lot. Um, and I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying this, but he also taught me that photography isn't for me. Okay. The no, more I worked with it and the more I grew with it, the more I grew to not like it. Okay. All right. Like for me, I found that I liked it as more of a fun time hobby, but the okay. idea of doing it full time for other people, I didn't right. like that. I liked right. doing it for me. Right. Well, that's yeah. good to learn. That's kind of a good learning set. Well, he saved me a lot of money because I, up until that point, I was planning on attending like a fifty thousand dollar school wow. to learn photography for a year. Wow. And he and Kara Gelvin, both of them helped me out a lot to decide maybe this takes some more time go to four C's and figure yourself out. And if you want to still do this in a year, then go do it. But if not, at least you won't have lost $50,000. Wow. So, yeah. Well, that was good to find out. Now, do you Sorry. still um, like pursue photography in any other way, like as a hobby still, or? I do a little bit as a hobby, but not really too much. I've been a little busy lately, so I haven't touched my camera in a while. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> So, and then you were also interned here when you were at Four C's, correct? Yes, I was. So, can you talk about what life lessons you might have learned from being an intern that you still follow to this day? I think a lot for me is time management. Okay. And just working with others, because before mm -hmm. then I was very much like, I like doing things by myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't like getting help from others. I was kind of a loner. If I had a group project, I'd do most of it by myself, or I'd just be like, what do you want me to do? I'll go do it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm yeah, with yeah. But yeah. working with care really helped me to open myself up, mm -hmm. to communicate with others better, to reach out for help if I needed it, or to mm -hmm. listen to others, and to manage my schedule between working and internshipping and school. Nice. I really had to learn how to handle everything and set a schedule for myself to say from here to here, I have to do this. On this day, right. I'm doing this. And, right, know. right. Um, so then you went to Bridgewater, correct? Yes. And you lived on campus? I did, yes. For okay. It was cut a little short with uh, our friend COVID, oh. but for <laughs> almost a year, yes, okay. I did. Okay. And so did you have a major at Four C's or were you unde um, undecided or what was your major? So at Four C's, I was just general education. Okay. I didn't know if I still wanted to pursue art. So right. I took a lot of courses that sounded interesting to me, yep. not necessarily looking for any kind of major. Mm -hmm. But when I transferred to Four C, uh, when I transferred to Bridgewater, right. I decided to major in English because that was a subject that I Cool. enjoyed yeah so I'm majoring in English right now awesome awesome and um can you talk a little bit about how that transition was from four C's to Bridgewater especially going from commuting to being a resident on campus I'm really happy I went that route not awesome. only money wise but also yeah. I feel like it helped me grow the most as a person getting to still stay at home but tackle more responsibility and right. more about workload by starting college, but still right. keeping it close enough to home. Versus yeah. then when I actually went to live on campus, I had a lot more work to do, a lot more involvement with the community to right. handle. Yeah. So I'm really happy I went that route. It was definitely a change mm -hmm. living away from home, but it was really fun. That's awesome. It seems like it was a positive change in your life. So that's awesome. It definitely was, yeah. Um, did you also have to balance a part-time job at all when you were at Four C's or while you're at Bridgewater? 
So I have managed to hold the same job since actually I was like a sophomore in high school. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm still, I'm just working at a coffee shop right now. That's awesome. I'm still there. I work my way up. So now I'm yeah. up at 5 a.m. for a morning shifts. But nice. <laughs> so I've managed to hold that. Um, nice. For a while, I was just doing like one day a week, just okay. something small, just so yeah. I could keep at it. Yep. But at Forest Hughes, I did a couple days a week. Bridgewater was one day a week. And yep. right now with online school, I'm actually doing five days a week. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's good. You can have that flexibility with that job, though. Exactly. That must be helpful. It is very um, helpful. I need I, the money. <laughs> school. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did the same thing all throughout college. I worked at a coffee shop too. So that's so funny. Yeah. It's kind of a <laughs> common connection between us. Um, it's just so short, so it works out perfectly. For yeah, exactly. definitely. Yeah. And there's just, I feel like the shifts are easy enough. Like you can get up super early in the morning and get it over with almost. So oh, yeah. And then you come home and you're like, all right, it's 11 AM. I have the day to do homework yeah. and classes and get myself all set. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you answered this question already, but you talked about how um, with the time management lessons that you're learning and staying organized, can you just touch on how you've managed to successfully balance work, school, and then your social life on top of that? You know, how has that been? Well, with COVID, my social life isn't really the best right now. Yeah, yeah, um, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm limiting myself very much. I only am seeing two people. Yep. I'm seeing one of my friends, which is maybe once every month, once every other yep. month. Yeah. Um, and then I have my boyfriend who I see, you know, every so often, but we try to, you know, keep a little distant and right, not right. Off and want right. to stay safe. But right. yeah, it's been a lot to manage, mm-hmm. to manage everything. It's really just, I can't say enough, have a schedule and try not to go overboard. Like, stick your feet in the water, and if you feel comfortable, go a little deeper until you hit a point where you're like, all right, this is all I can do right now. I'm not going to push myself. Right. Because you really got to take care of your mental health, especially. Definitely. Your times. Definitely. I think it's good, too, that, like, you can learn what works best for you and then you make that into your own routine. So that's awesome. It seems like you've gotten a good handle on that and that's that's an amazing skill at where you're at in life try my best yeah so we've talked about COVID and how it's been so stressful and it's a big change for all of us so can you talk about um one way that you practice self-care and kind of de-stress any practices that you follow whether it's binge watching or anything like that (laughs) um I have a couple of things so primarily is those rare times I'm able to see either my friend or my boyfriend Mm -hmm. really just make me happy because it reminds me like I have to keep working at this stuff and I want to keep you know making these people proud that I care about yeah um so the little bits of time I get with them are huge to me for my self-care but when I'm alone it's more like video games tv yeah um I found my way back to art somehow and now I'm making earrings no way so so yeah, I also do that too That's on top awesome. of my schedule. So that is also a self-care thing for me, just sitting down, making a bunch and That's helping so cool. me dress, I think. Yeah, definitely. That's like almost therapeutic. It must be therapeutic exactly. for you. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. Um, so also, did you have a mentor in high school or throughout this time in college or even before? So primarily... Kara Galvin mm-hmm. has been huge for me. She's always been so supportive. Whenever I needed her, she's been there. She helped me with uh, artworks program. And then mm-hmm. afterwards, I mean, I had an internship under her. So I worked very closely right. with her for a while. Yeah. Um, and then I haven't personally seen um, Alan Truman in a while. But mm-hmm. when I was working with him in high school, he was also a huge mentor to help me figure out what exactly I wanted or really didn't want within the art field. Right, so right. Two of them have helped me out tremendously with yeah. my life and just everything. Right, right. So do you recommend that for young adults and our future and pre- present interns that to try to find that support as a mentor? Is I you, right? 100% recommend it. Yeah. Especially because it's one thing going to a family member or a friend for help or advice, right. but sometimes their advice might be a little bit more biased. Right. True. Or especially if it's a friend who's your age, they might not have any real world experience with what you're dealing with. True. So finding someone older, especially if you can find someone who's in your line of work as a, like a mentor in that way, 
yeah. they can be really helpful with teaching you, you know, what they've grown from and what, mm -hmm. you know, ups and downs they've had, what they've learned from. Mm -hmm. So really, if you can find a mentor, I 100% think that you should try That's and awesome. listen to them. That's great advice. I know too, it's like, you find that professional mentor and then almost that professional mentor becomes a personal mentor too, because you build such a relationship and connection with them that it starts to impact your life positively. So that's amazing. That's awesome that you got to yeah. experience that. Um, so our closing question, um, what is one piece of advice you would give to our interns now or interns that are considering participating in the future? I think definitely try new things. Um, for someone who has struggled and still struggles with what she wants to do with her life, try new things. If you want to go to school, but you don't know what you do want to do, go to a community college. It's yes. way cheaper. The mm -hmm. support and the teachers there are still amazing. Mm -hmm. I honestly preferred Four C's over Bridgewater. Please, Bridgewater, don't yeah. see this, but <laughs> Four C's was amazing for me. So That's awesome. go there try new things, try different classes, step outside your comfort zone because you might find something that you didn't think you'd like that you really love. Right, right. That's great advice. That's so awesome because I think, you know, a lot of students don't hear a lot, you know, go to four C's. It's okay if you don't know what you want to do yet. Like take oh, yeah. that time to try to figure that out. I know when I, I went to Worcester State and I never thought I would change my major. And then I found myself sophomore year, like, mm, this isn't what I want to do. And I'm going to change that. And, you know, your advisors are there and professors are there to help make it work so that you still graduate on time. Like, you know, that support's always there. So that's great advice, Kaylee. That's awesome. Yeah. So that wraps up our interview. Um, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. The advice and insight you have given, I know will be a great resource to all the students. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, I hope to be in touch soon. And I know that Kara and Anna said hi. So Aww. relaying that to you. <laughs> I hope so too. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, totally. So feel free to always reach out. We're always here and we'll be in touch if you can help in any other way. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you. You too. Bye.